The four classical elements, fire, water, earth, and air, date back past 500 BC and have been passed on through the ages. But there is a fifth, somewhat elusive classical element called aether. Kind of like how you grow up learning you have four taste buds, you know, the sweet, salty, sour, and bitter, and then suddenly there's this fifth elusive taste bud called umami that they added that detects savory, I guess, but I digress. Aristotle added this during his philosophical reign in ancient Greece around 300 BC. However, many cultures had some concept of the aether. You might have heard of this aether, or it can also be pronounced ether, in a common expression in the ether. For example, he vanished into the ether. Oh, I just had a thought, and now it's vanished into the ether. Oh, where are my keys? I just had them, but they seem to have gone into the ether. This fifth classical element is sometimes also referred to as quintessence. This word is derived from the medieval Latin quinta essentia, quinta for five, and essentia for essence, the fifth essence. And this became the French quintessence, and that was appropriated by late Middle English to be quintessence. When something has quintessence or is quintessential, it is the most perfect example of something, the epitome of that thing. It was a quintessential house, a beautiful home nestled upon a hill in a French villa, its windows facing south over a pristine lake with views for miles. And this makes sense because quintessence or ether is not only a vague area of the heavens that lay above our terrestrial lands, it is also thought to be found in all of us. It is the ineffable quality of our heart. It is our soul. It is an indescribable perfection that alchemists thought must be part of the divine. The ether might be my favorite classical element because it is both nowhere and everywhere at the same time, which is confusing and exciting and no element on a modern day periodic table could ever replace this one for me. Thank you for watching as always and see you all tomorrow back in the laboratory to talk about one of alchemy's ultimate treasures, gold.